Okay guys, here's my crazy idea. I got to looking at the carb on this 031 and uh, you know these things have they have external impulse lines that usually it goes in to this hole here and so I thought hmm I wonder if you could hook up two carburetors because theoretically you can split the impulse line between the two and then back here we're gonna split the fuel line coming out of the fuel tank. So see, I got one going to the front carburetor already. And then I made a little, and then I welded a little, um, an extra dog on the top of the throttle here to connect to the back carburetor. And so I thought, shoot, that'd be sort of fun to try and stack the two carbs together and see if it'll work. I mean, I realize that it's, Probably not going to give it any more performance or anything, but I just like the idea of two carburetors, like an old hot rod, you know? So I thought, shoot, let's give it a try, see if it'll work. Since we've already sort of chopped up the top cover on this to make the exhaust. And then see, I redid the outlet, put a bigger outlet and turned it down. Justin Weaver had a good idea for that. So now it's not quite as in your face. So yeah, since I chopped up the top cover and I thought, shoot, let's do something on the carburetor intake side. So there it is. So I'm just going to take in, uh, where's that other carb? So see the back carburetor, um, it's just the same carb. Let's see, how does it go? Like this. So the back carburetor just slides on and it's a nice flat surface so I got a gasket made so we got a gasket that goes in between the two carburetors and yeah like I said there's no impulse um, passages on the carb body itself so that makes it sort of nice to split the impulse line and then see the other carb and then and then I thought well sh wait a minute it's not gonna idle because um, well I mean it might have but I notched the throttle plate see that so that even when the back throttle plates closed it can still the front one can still do the idling because I think I'm just gonna turn the uh, I'm gonna turn the so see this carb just goes on like that Get this so yeah see it just stacks on there like that and so the front carb I think will do the uh, idle circuit so I'll just turn the low jet all the way in on the back one and just use it for the high jet so anyways something sort of funky <laughs> so let me get it the rest of the way together and we'll see what it looks like okay here it is guys all put together Look at that, I even got the stock air cleaner on there. <laughs> you won't get the cover on it, but yeah, so you still got room for your finger in there. See, she opens up, throttle works. That's crazy. So see, we got, whoops. So see, we got our impulse lines here, split. And then we got fuel lines back here split. And see, it's got a T in it. Just to show you guys that I ain't cheating, because you know, a guy could just, one of the carburetors could be a dummy carburetor that wasn't even hooked up. So yeah, it's hooked up. And I actually got it started. Whoops. Yeah, I actually got her running. Haven't got it to idle and to tuned up yet, but <laughs> I know that's a dumb idea, but I just wanted to try it. It was it was so easy to just stack those two carburetors together and they had the external impulse attachment on them so it made it easy. It'd be you couldn't do it with um, you know the carburetors that have the impulse orifice on the body, but these ones the impulse line comes out the bottom so so yeah we'll see what it does 
Okay, here she is, guys. The dual carb piped 031. <laughs> so, as you saw in some of my short videos, I got it to run an idle. So now let's see if it'll cut wood. And I realize this is probably an exercise in futility, but I just loved the idea of the two carbs. So let's try it and see what happens. <laughs> So let's get the old beast fired up. It's a little cold blooded. Let me move the camera down. It's weird. Um, it's easy to start because it's not lacking for fuel. But idling and uh, just getting it to run to where it'll idle is sort of finicky. <laughs> I still haven't figured that out quite yet. So let's see what it does. Cold start. Choke. There she goes. tell if it needs more fuel or less. much fuel on that one well it's a little hard <laughs> it's a little hard to figure out which carb to adjust so let's see that's a little too much fuel on the high end so. <laughs> Here, guys. 
guys. So I basically have the, I basically just shut the rear carburetor down and I'm gonna just try and run it off the front one and see how that goes. Interesting. Okay guys, there it is. <laughs> the big two carb experiment. In conclusion, it doesn't work when you stack them on top of each other. <laughs> Ludes, 112, Nico, you were right. It's only, it's only as good as the first carb, so when you're stacking them on top of each other like that, you know, you're really not doing anything. <laughs> But it was a fun experiment. Now Nico did say that if uh, you know if you were to split it, have like a split manifold with the two carbs side by side, then you would have some benefit. But stacked like this, not so much. So yeah, basically in the end, I just had to shut down the back carb completely so that it would even cut a piece of wood halfway decent. <laughs> and then having that back carb back there, you know, is probably impeding the airflow and. So yeah, it was a fun experiment, but it doesn't work. Not worth it. So anyways, but doesn't it let's look cool though? Two carburetors. Ugh. So yeah, maybe I'll come up with, I'll have to build a manifold with two, two carbs. See what that does. But it's just such a cool looking saw. I'm gonna clean her up and put her on the shelf like that. We'll play around with it again later. So anyways, guys, that's the uh, two-carb experiment brought to you by Kane Custom Garage. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, and uh, we'll catch you guys later.